I'm Miranda Khan. Missouri's Governor Jay Nixon outlines his law enforcement plans after the region prepares for a grand jury announcement in the Michael Brown case. The grand jury will decide if Ferguson, Ferguson police officer Darren Wilson will face charges in the August 9th shooting death of 18 year old Michael Brown seen here. That decision will be handed down sometime this month. The shooting led to months of protest and unrest in Ferguson and throughout the St. Louis area. New rules in New York City mean big changes for those caught carrying a small amount of marijuana. Under the new policy, persons found to be in possession of this amount of marijuana, 25 grams or less, may be eligible to receive a summons in lieu of arrest. The move comes after New York City's Mayor Bill de Blasio faced increasing pressure to reduce thousands of arrests for pot possession, which is a misdemeanor according to New York state law. He says police will now focus their efforts on other emerging drug problems, including heroin. Also in New York City, the last Ebola patient in the U.S. heads home. Bellevue Hospital released Dr. Craig Spencer earlier today. He spoke at a news conference shortly after and had this to say. I am a living example of how those protocols work and of how early detection is critical to both surviving Ebola and ensuring that it is not transmitted to others. Dr. Spencer cared for patients in Guinea before contracting the virus. Also today, Russia officials nuclear talks between Iran, the U.S. and the European Union could collapse at any minute. This despite continuing talks in the country of Amman. The deadline for a deal November 24th is quickly approaching, but an Iranian negotiator says the leader, uh, the leader rather, the leaders have made very little progress there. Russian President Vladimir Putin still taking heed today for committing a minor faux pas at the APEC welcoming ceremony yesterday in Beijing. Take a look. While the Chinese president Jinping was talking to President Obama. Putin offered his jacket to the Chinese First Lady. Well, that's a no-no. She quickly removed the jacket and handed it off to an attendant before putting her own jacket back on. With President Obama in Asia for a week-long trip, it was Vice President Joe Biden leading a Veterans Day ceremony at the Tomb of the Unknowns in Arlington National Cemetery. Vice President Biden laid a wreath at the soldier's grave. American warriors never bend, never break, and never, ever, ever yield. Today, Veterans Day ceremonies at Arlington will include a concert featuring Bruce Springsteen. I'm Miranda Khan. We'll have more coming your way in about 30 minutes.